Hi guys, welcome to Benzer College. In chapter 12.2, we have explored examples number 1 and 2. Okay, so in this video, we will move on to example 3. Okay, and probably more. Okay, so in example 3, we are asked to find all the angles between 0 and 360 degrees for which this equation is true. Okay, so this means that x, the range of x rather, is between 0 and 360 degrees okay so just take note that if the if the question uses the word between okay then we will not include the endpoints which are 0 and 360 okay we will not include those endpoints okay so from this given equation I'll shift sine x over to the left hand side of the equation and this will give me this okay and factorizing out sine x okay I will just be left with this okay so from this equation I can break it up into two separate cases to solve so either this is true or 2 cosine x minus 1 equals 0 okay it's true okay so in the second scenario I can simplify it further to get cosine x equals to half okay so in the first scenario by sine x equals to 0 as discussed in example 2 okay there's only one possible value for x okay so just in case you have you haven't watched example 2 maybe you can check it out after this video okay so the sine of any function is between negative 1 and 1 so sorry 1 and negative 1 okay and this occurs at 0 degrees 180 degrees and 360 degrees okay so when is the function 0 okay the function is 0 at x equals to 0 x equals to 180 degrees and x equals to 360 degrees okay so this is my x and this is my y okay so that means to say when x is equals to 0 180 degrees or 360 degrees okay then y is 0 okay or vice versa okay so so since we are excluding excluding okay the end point 0 and 360 okay I will just be left with x equals to 180 degrees or x equals to pi okay so uh, just a minor error here x is equals to 180 degrees okay because we are in degree mode okay for this question okay so how about the second scenario where cosine x is equals to half okay so using our ASTC diagram okay since cosine x gives me a positive value I will be either in the a quadrant or the c quadrant okay so x is measured in this direction for the a quadrant and uh, this is my x okay and in the a quadrant recall that it is a very special quadrant whereby alpha my basic angle is equals to x okay how about the other scenario whereby x is in the c quadrant okay so x will be measured in this direction all the way here Okay, so this is my x. Okay, and uh, in the second scenario, this is my alpha. Okay, this is my alpha. Okay, so let us consider, let us find alpha first, rather. So x is just, so alpha is just cosine inverse of half. Okay. Yeah, and if you recall in the chapter of special angles, cosine inverse half is just 60 degrees. Okay, it's a special angle. Okay, so using this, let us now solve for x. So there are two possible scenarios. So the first scenario is by x is, is where x is alpha, and the second scenario is whereby x is 360 degrees minus alpha. Okay, as you can see over here. Okay, so if I were to work this out, I'll get 60 degrees or 300 degrees okay so my final answer was just that x is equals to 180 degrees okay sorry I'll arrange in this order okay so x will be 60 degrees 180 degrees and 300 degrees okay so these three answers so take note that these two answers are, are, are wrong okay are out okay so I hope you have enjoyed this example. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. See ya!